scraping my knees and toes in love with Nero. Now from the home of the Rays, Tropicana Field in St. Petersburg, Florida. Today, a matchup of division rivals at opposite ends of the standing between the Boston Red Sox and the Tampa Bay Rays. Brandon Lau, one of the league's most prolific power hitters, continues his hunt for a home run crown. Next. Tyler Glasnow, a California-born right-hander, is on the mound. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, this guy's done a real good job on the year keeping the opponent's batting average down. Both righties and lefties coming into this one, hitting under 250 against this guy. He's been good all season long. Now to the plate, Xander Bogarts, as he begins this one as the fourth leading hitter in the American League. This guy can do just about everything when he's in the lineup. In the top five in the league in runs scored, and he's a big part of this offense. So there's more to this guy than just swinging the bat. John John Johnston is now live. Streaming MLB Here's the, the show 2 1. Red Sox versus Rays 8 1 2 1. Great feel for that breaking ball while warming up before the game. Leadoff hitter getting two curveballs is usually not the norm. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. Another 0 2 home. That's out. One of those few occasions we're happy to be inside this place. 98 and humid outside, but a steady 72 degrees here inside. All 2 and 2. two. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off-speed pitch in the dirt. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So it's a leadoff base hit to start the Red Sox after the inning. I mean, that has to frustrate the guy on the mound right there. You get him down 0-2, no put-away pitch, works the count back to neutral, and is able to mix in a base hit. Nice job. And the next up will be Alex Verdugo. Oh, sorry, that's yes, he'll take a look at ball one. And then when Yank just foul. Oh, two and one. Hey. Now an off speed pitch gets the outside. It's a cold strike. 2-2. Tapped up the third base line. Here now the 2-2. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. He's set. Here's the 2-2. And again, he's unable to keep it fair, but he's putting together quite a battle at the plate. Another 2-2 offering. Now a ball ripped into deep center field. Kiermaier is there and he'll bring this one in. That is third. The left fielder, J.D. Martinez. Here's J.D. Martinez, his previous meeting line with Tyler Glass now. He's a 333 hitter. He also has one home run. Popped him up. Naylor has a play. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. I'm sure his eyes lit up when he saw that curveball hanging in the zone. But maybe he tried to do too much with it because basically he hit it straight up. No doubt he wants that pitch back. And the pitcher, he just dodged a bullet. Rafael Devers started to go around, but it's a called strike 0-1. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. A curveball hit right back at him. And he'll flip it on the first, and with it, that ends the inning. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. Nothing in the first for Boston, Tampa Bay coming up. You're watching MLB Network. Garrett Richards will be the starter for the Bo Sox in this contest. Dan Fleezak, what do you got? One of the things that jumps out if you look at that stat sheet, a very high whip coming into this start. One of the things he's going to have to do a much better job 
keep traffic off the bases. Keep the walks down. Try to limit the amount of hits. He's had a rough go of that so far this year. Let's see if he can turn it around in this one. Kevin Kiermeyer is in to start things off as he looks at a ball to start the inning. 1-0. and Well, these Red Sox entering play here this afternoon. They come off another loss last time out. And, in fact, they've dropped three of their last four. Hey, Matty, yeah, it's been a tough series so far, d -Roll. They've lost the first two. Two nail biters, two close games, low scoring games. They'd like to turn that fortune around here today. Yeah, but from a manager's perspective, Dan, all you can ask for is effort, and that's what this team's given them. They took it on the chin, first two games, one run losses. They'll bounce back today. Now the pitch. Hey. Vidal Bruhan comes on with one gone here as he looks at a cold strike one. That's three straight sliders in a row. I'd be shocked. I would be shocked if he went to that well a fourth time. I'd be looking here. Gonzalez is up with it. Got and it. there's out number two. That Here's Nelson Cruz now. He comes into this one having Nelson. hit safely in his last five games. Ooh. And now the first pitch. Hey. And he gets ahead 0-1. Hey, when you're featuring a mid-90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off-speed pitches later in the game. And right into the shift. Uh, this will get fouled for strike two. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Low and away with that one. It's one and two. It's a great job to lay off on that nasty slider right there. It's the toughest pitch. It was my toughest pitch to lay off of. I was always sitting right, fastball middle two two. away. And when that slider came out, boy, did it look like a heater for a long time. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Hit sharply on the ground. Gonzalez is there. Throw in time on the side is retired. Down in order go the Rays. Still no score. Stepping in is Bobby Dahlbeck, and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. No balls and a strike to count. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Working the plate is Larry Bullard. Hey, behind the dish, D-Roll, Larry Bullard. Pretty standard guy, works it. Only problem, I think, at times... Hitters have a little bit difficult time. He'll give a little bit on that inside corner and outside corner. Not very consistent. Yeah, but Larry's approachable. That's the one thing. If you turn around and say, as far as you're going on the outer half, he's usually going to tell you. Standing in now, Hunter Renfro. As he'll take a look at the strike right down the middle, it's 0-1. His previous meeting line with Tyler Glass now. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. The 0 2 pitch. No score here as we play inning number two. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. When a pitcher puts you in the proverbial rocking chair like he's doing right now, you have to take a deep breath. You can't start trying to guess along with him. Trust your fundamentals and stay on that fastball. Two down, no one on base. And into bat next, the utility man extraordinaire Marwin Gonzalez. No balls in one strike. 0-1, oh here it comes. Now a breaking ball, but it's low. One and two to the Boston shortstop. Ooh, that's a good pitch to take a hack at right there. Change up up of the zone. Eh, he'd like to have that one back. And that's in there. So perhaps some life here with two men out. So good work on a one and two count to get on base. No mistake what he was sitting on. Fastball middle of the plate. Kept his hands back. Stayed through the baseball. And delivers the hard hit line drive. Stepping in now, Kike Hernandez. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. That batting average hovering in the high 230s. 
15 long balls and 43 RBIs. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. 0 oh and 2, here it is. Nope, that's good. Hey, the fish ain't biting there on that 0 2 breaking ball, but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one. Now, a changeup hit on the ground to shortstop. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Red Sox leave one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. So now to the plate, Brandon Lau. Although his home run total is one of the league's best, his pace of hitting him out of the park has slowed down a bit here in the second half. Yeah, but he gives himself a chance. I know it's slowed a little bit, but if you pulled a lot of guys in the big leagues, you're hitting that four, five, six homer range. You'll take that over the course. Average that out. Six times six, that's 36 bombs. I know you're not winning any home run titles, but you might have a chance to hang in there. Down the left field line and deep, but this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. 1-1. Uh, one, one. Two balls, one strike. Skied into straightaway right. Renfro is underneath this one. One down. That is good. The designated hitter. Austin. Next will be the designated hitter. Austin Meadows comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. Pitch on the way. That's a ball. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. So the bases are empty with two gone now. And up next will be Randy Arena. Here's the first pitch to him. And a fastball's in there for strike one. You know, a lot of guys don't like to swing at the first pitch. That might be the case with this one right here. Took a wheelhouse fastball, 0-0, center cut. Didn't even give the impression he was swinging. The slider freezes him at the plate. A called third strike, and the inning comes to a close. Rays go in order, 1-2-3. We'll move to the third with no score. And here's the catcher, Kevin Ploiecki. His previous meeting line with Tyler Glass now, batting at an even 400. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. 2-1 and one now. Now here's the pitch. That's ball three. Well, you can see here, this has been a steady diet of off-speed pitches, and what has it gotten him? Nope. Not a whole ball lot four. as he's fallen behind in the count. Three balls and one strike. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is oh, on here to begin left inning left. number three. The designated hitter, Xander Bullhart. So it's back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring up the power-hitting shortstop, Xander Bogart. Hey. Change-up, called strike one. Hey, that's a quality take right there. He knows the pitcher's trying to get him to hit a ground ball and roll two. This one's one have become right famous field, by followers, fans, and, and viewers on GeekFellows.com. That arm and right, so despite the runner moving on the pitch, it'll wind up first and second here. Alex Verdugo digging in now. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. He's got a good feel for his off-speed pitch his second time through the order, and we just saw three in a row. Kiermaier is there, and he has it for the first down. 
So first and second with one down. And that'll bring up the dangerous bat of J.D. Martinez. From the belt. Kicks and deals. Also oh, take a look at the pitch too low. It's ball one. Now a throw over to first. No, and the runner back in standing. Here it comes, 1-0. Oh. A ball and a strike. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. Flewecki at second. Bogarts is over at first with one away. Well, this is hauled in by the second baseman. Now back third baseman. Raphael. Raphael Devers, the next to bat. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Looking to wiggle out of this. Oh. Here it is. The set and the 1 0. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Oh, Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball, 2 and 1. Hey, time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. He set the 2-2. Two -two. Now here's a fly ball. Well hit. Back goes Kiermaier at the track. And just short of a home run, this ball's off the wall. And the runner will score from second. Yeah, when that left his bat, I thought it was out of here for a three-run shot. But to his credit, he didn't hesitate or break into that home run trot. He busted it out of the box and was thinking triple all the way. Well done. That'll bring up Bobby Dahlbeck. And as the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Runner in scoring position with two gone. But swing just got to try and straighten that one out. When the guy on the mound has complete command of his off speed, especially his changeup, sometimes as a hitter, you just have to give up pull side to stay on it. Here's the one and two delivery. Hammered the other way to deep right field. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. Boston's out in front, two to nothing. G-Man Choi, the next to hit. Seven, eight, and nine to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up, six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup could get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. As the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Running hard. He's digging for second. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. Man, that's got the state for the pitcher and his teammates. They just get on the board and are feeling good about themselves, looking for a shutdown inning so they can get some more runs on the board. But instead, this guy blasts a leadoff double. Getting that shutdown inning is going to be a lot tougher now. Mike Brasso digging in at the plate. As the first pitch misses to him. It's ball one. Comes into this one at 271. Nine homers and 17 RBI. one oh count here it is no, that's and two and oh is this one's taken low hey you want to talk about being in the zone this guy's been raking lately and it all starts with his pitch selection two great takes and he's almost daring the pitcher just go ahead and challenge him oh and it eats him up a bit Choi ignores his coach he's chugging for home he will score and the deficit is down to only one now he was able to spit on that first slider right there, guys, but he didn't let the second one go. Able to execute and drive the baseball.
into the box. Bo Naylor. And hey. she'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Nobody out, runner on first. Hit out towards second. And that finds its way through for a base hit. You don't see that too much in today's game. Most guys, it doesn't matter what the count is, they're looking to line up. Drive the ball out of the ballpark. Not the case here. Good two strike adjustment, able to punch a ground ball through a hole for a single. Standing in, Kevin Kiermeyer. A ball and no strikes. According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, Kiermeyer hits in the 240s, so there's room for improvement in that regard. You know, Matty, I know his career batting average jumps off at the page, but this guy can help the roster in a lot of different ways. He brings value yeah. to the manager on a daily basis. Gonzalez for one, but they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. The batter number seven. Striding in is Vidal Bruhan, trying to bring in the tying run from third here. First pitch on its way. As he watch one miss down and in for a ball, one and oh. Hit on the ground toward the left. There's one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. They make it look easy, don't they? Around the horn for the double play to end the inning. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Start of the fourth upcoming, but first, Heidi Watney is standing by with a report. Thanks, Matt. During the commercial break, I talked about the Red Sox offense with the Boston manager, and flat out he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already, and he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. All right. Thanks, Heidi. All set for the start of the inning, and digging in is the outfielder, Hunter Renfro. Number 10. Here's the first pitch to him. A curveball hit right back at him. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. Stepping in once again is Marwin Gonzalez. Singled in his last at bat. And now the second pitch of the inning is popped up. Over on the left side of the infield. And he'll put this away for the second out. So the bases are empty here with two gone. And that means the plug and play utility man, Kike Hernandez, will bat next. Starts him out with a changeup for a strike. Pretty much an obligatory take that time. Yeah, when the first two guys in the inning make oh, first two. pitch outs, you really don't have much choice. Seared down the first baseline. But this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0-2. Hernandez behind the ball with two strikes. Swing and a miss on the breaking ball, and he sets him down for out number three. Down in order go the Red Sox. As they're unable to add to their two to one lead. For the last half of the inning, and standing in is the veteran outfielder Nelson Cruz. Nelson. Infield Cruz. in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Ball. Ball one, no strike. Into his windup. Here comes the 1-0. No, that's low. Oh, kind of frustrating as a pitcher when you start an inning off with three straight balls like he has here in the fourth. Makes you start wondering what's going on. And he'll try to check his swing here, but he'll have no such luck. It's strike one.
smoked on the ground left side. And the throw to first is in time, one gun. The batter, number eight. Digging in will be Brendan Lau. He's over one thus far. First offering. Fourth inning of a two to one ball game. Off the plate and in. Right. It's a ball and a strike. That hook stayed up in the zone. You can see he struggled with that curveball early. He's trying to find that release point with his off speed pitches. Let's we'll to see if he can find the feel for that thing moving forward. Now, ball and two strikes now. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're nope, just looking at ball. either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. He's ready with the 2-2 pitch. Hey. Try to hold back, but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing, and there are two away now. Fooled him just enough with that pitch to get him to go around according to the umpire. Sometimes it can be really tough for these big, strong guys because once they're committed to swinging, it's hard for them to slow their swings down. And that appeared to be the case there. And here's a pitch inside, and that got him. You know, with two outs and nobody on, that's the last thing you want to do on the mound. That really gives the opposition some hope that they can do something with this inning. Next to stand in is Randy Rosarena, struck out in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, he failed to pull the bat off his shoulder in that one, Matty. Down on three pitches, pretty much a wasted A.B. Hey. This has to be a better effort. Owen won the count. As a look, now the pitch. At the ball. And this is low, ball two. Two and one. Two and one. Pitch is popped up. Dahlbeck moving to his left, and that will end the inning. Ray's strand just the one. They're down 2-1. Ready now is Kevin Ploiecki. We'll match up with Tyler Glass now to lead off the inning. First pitch of the AB now. And a curveball drops in there for strike one. Hey, I don't blame him for giving up on that curveball. That was a rainbow coming out of the sky. Stole the strike. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out. One away. Back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring up the shortstop and one of the better two-strike hitters in baseball, Xander Bogarts. And a curveball in for a strike. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. On the move is Kiermaier. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. Base is empty two away. And that brings up the outfielder Alex Verdugo. Here's the first pitch to him. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Over to first and that retires the side. Red Sox go down one, two, three. They lead it two to one. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, race manager Kevin Cash talked to me in between innings about his lineup's offensive production. And flat out, he told me they just need to put better swings on the ball right now. They're struggling to drive the baseball into the gaps right now as only one of their hits has been for extra bases. That makes it pretty tough to generate runs. But he said it's up to everyone in the lineup to make the necessary adjustments. It hasn't gone their way to this point, but that shouldn't mean they can't put together some great swings the rest of the way. All right, Heidi, thank you. And now the first pitch. 
G-Man Choi is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. Line to the right side. But this will be gloved out there at second as he didn't have far to go for the out. Now batting, third baseman, Michael Brasso. Next, it'll be Michael Brasso looking to follow up the RBI single from his first at bat. Halfway to 100 pitches, here it is. Oh, that took two. Well, should be 2 and 0, oh, but he goes one way ball, out of the zone right. to go after that one, and it's even 1 and 1. Hey, that was a nasty pitch right there. Ton of rotation on that ball. You could almost see the red dot from up here. Nasty depth. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. Next, here is Bo Naylor. He singled in his first AB. Yeah, guys, that was. to start him out here 1 and 0. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Renfro is under it and he makes the catch for out number 3. Down in order go the Rays. They still trail it here 2 to 1. Sixth about to get started. Coming forward, the veteran outfielder, J.D. Martinez. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1-0. and and Facing right-handed pitching so far this season, Martinez has a batting line residing in the 290s. Looking to boost that even higher here. And he lays off for a ball, 2-1. and one. Hit back toward the mound. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front now shoulder man. in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes even when you make a good pitch, the ball is going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. Rafael Devers is in for the third time now as he takes a ball outside. It's 1-0. Hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. Gone! Two run shot to straightaway center. Number 17 for him on the season. And with it, the Red Sox have taken a 4 to 1 lead. He's one of the best home run hitters in the league. And rightfully so. You're not going to get cookies thrown at you every at bat. Most guys can handle a fastball, but he waited back on that off speed pitch and drove it right out of the yard. Striding in for Boston, Bobby Dalbeck. Yeah, and Dan, after that home run, it looks like they might be able to end this losing streak that they've been mired in. Yeah, and the win at this level feels really good, especially when it's been a while. They're on their way, one and if they one. can play well the rest of the game. One and one to count. Now here's the pitch. Oh, he took something off of it there. It's one and two. Great job on those last two pitches of varying speeds. Gave him a hard fastball, and then he locked him up with a changeup. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Man, that's a nice job by the batter right there, keeping the front side in. Not easy on a curveball. Would have been easy to throw to front side and hook that foul, but he was able to stay inside and drive it for a base hit. In now, Hunter Renfro. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. And this will get past him down the line at first. It's a fair ball. Dubek rounds the corner and is headed home. The relay, and he is in there. That's the difference between average and good hitters. Good hitters almost always take advantage of RBI opportunities when they present themselves. He does it here, and the lead is now four. Here's Marwin Gonzalez now. Fly ball right down the line and left. 
catch is made by Cruz, and here comes the runner from third. And he will come across to score on the sacrifice fly as this is now a 6-1 to one ball game. Usually when you score a lot of runs in one inning, like this inning, you're doing a lot of things right. And how about this? A sack fly to drive in another run. They have to be happy with this. And so look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. This is a situation where you almost have to play mind tricks on yourself if you're out there on the mound. Four runs have come across already this inning, but now the bases are empty. He's not in danger anymore, so he's just got to tell himself he's doing fine, and he just needs to get this inning over with. But right to the second baseman, and that's the second out. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Kevin Ploiecki is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. And that finds the target. Nothing in two now. Two well-executed pitches at the knees right there. But I know this hitter's looking for something up. And it's fouled away. Nothing in two count. And the pitch. High and deep down the left field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Swing and a liner. And the Sox keep pouring it on. This is extra bases as well. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two-base hit. Wow, his manager must have a lot of faith in him, and I'm not sure why. He's given up five hits in this inning alone, and it doesn't look like it's going to come to an end anytime soon. And that brings in Xander Bogarts. He grounds it sharply to third. Throw in time, and they stop the bleeding as the side is retired. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate and they push across four runs. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Reds. So here's Kevin Kiermaier. And through five turns at bat, they've only mustered a total of three hits. Not. Pitch on its way. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Good breaking ball right there. Good hard slider. The count now 0 and 2. He's getting deep into the outing, but his slider is still staying sharp. He doesn't look at all like he's starting to tire. He looks as good now as he did early on in the game. This is ball two. A swinging bunt up the third baseline. The two two one more time. Popped him up. Hernandez calls for it. He's got it one away. The batter number seven. The batter will be Stop. Vidal Brujan. Vidal. Brujan. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Ball. Ball one, no hey, I hope that call doesn't throw him off his game right here. He's been pitching one heck of a game. And I'd hate to see the umpire get in his head right now. Ball. And I maybe can't. a little frustrated on the mound here as the fastball misses for ball two now. And how about the uncommon patience for the rookie in a big spot right here? These have been some tough pitches to lay go. off. Now here's a check swing. Did he go around is the question. And yes, he did, says the man in blue. Strike one. Hit on the ground out to short. Gonzalez is up with it. And there are two away now. And that'll bring up the big stick of Nelson Cruz. Rounded out last time up. First offering. And he got him out in front all that one, time. Count. Strike one. Hey, it's not always about filling up the strike zone all the time every inning. He's pitching well as we're moving into the oh. middle innings. But interestingly, less than 50% of his first pitches have been for strikes. The 1-1. One, one. On the ground and right at the shifted infielders. Throw to first beats him easily, and the side is retired. 
Rays go in order. One, two, three. The lead remains five. It's six to one. Jordan Hicks is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 89. Jordan Hicks. Seventh inning ready to roll, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Alex Verdugo. First offering on its way. That's a ball. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off. A hard breaking ball at the back foot. Tough take on a terrific pitch. Right side, defense aligned perfectly. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. And now in the box, J.D. Martinez. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. Hey, guys, this, he's not known for being a singles hitter right here, but that's his now second back. knock of the Four game. Eight. And I'm sure he'll take him, but the guys on the other side of the scorecard might be thinking we really avoided a worse fate. Here now is Rafael oh, Devers. Right and she'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. And 2 0 now as this misses below the knees. Well, this is a spot you'd like to be in. 2 0, good hitter. He's going to turn it loose right here. And the pitch takes off inside and gets away. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Well, when a reliever comes in a game, he always wants to make a big impression. But I don't think uncorking a wild one was what he had in mind. Sometimes it takes a reliever a little bit of time to be comfortable on the mound out there. So we'll see if he can settle in. Now batting the first base, Bobby. Now it's played, Bobby Dahlbeck. He scored after knocking a single in his last at bat. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. Hard stuff on the corner, and he's got him 0-2 now. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Man, they really had his number so far in this series. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. So now to the plate, Hunter Renfro, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Pitch to the plate is a slider for a strike, and it's all knotted up in one and one. Squared that one up just a little late. The one and two pitch. Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulders. Side retired. Back to back strikeouts keep him out of danger. More to come on MLB Network Sunday Baseball after this. Last half of the seventh here, and set to go is the second base. The second baseman. First pitch on the way. He'll lay off a slider too low, ball one. And now Boston's bullpen springs into action. A left-hander and a right-hander begin to throw. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball, one and one. He is in complete command out on the mound today. He's got all four corners locked in, and now he's raising eye levels to boot. Two balls and a strike to count. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Hit weakly back to the mound. And there's one down now. Now with the plate is Austin Meadows. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. First pitch on its way. One run on three hits and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. Line to second where it's caught there for out number two. 
now batting. The right fielder, Randy. Here's Randy Arozarena. It's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Here's a curveball that runs outside. It's ball one. Boy, they've been just getting shut down right here. Then a while since they've even had a runner on. So I think it's time to start looking for ways to make some things happen. Swing and a high fly ball out to left field. And it's gone. Shot here to left, number 25 for him on the year. As the lead is cut to four, it's six to two now. Well, this is what makes this guy so hard to pitch to. He has that rare combination of speed and power. You don't want to walk him and have him get on first base. So what happens? You throw him a strike, and he can hit the ball all the ballpark like he did just there. Into the box now, G-Man Choi. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He's working on a one for two game so far. This one is smashed down the right field line. That's going to stay fair, and it's going to be back to back home run. A solo shot down the line in right, and that is 27 for him on the year. And with that, it's now a 6 to 3 ball game. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. At the plate, now Michael Basso. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Good pitch there. Had him a little yep. out in front. Okay. So back-to-back -back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, that's back-to-back -back really good sliders. I wouldn't be surprised if he threw another one right here. Looks like he's got... Oh. And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. So they get a couple of runs on two hits, no errors, and no one left aboard. Eighth inning coming up. The Red Sox are out in front. Six to three. Wander Suero has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eight. Ready to begin the eight, and that'll bring up the switch hitting shortstop, Marwin Gonzalez. As he'll look at a changeup that drops below the knees for ball one. Turned on down the line, right to him, and a table to the bag himself for the out. So now into the box is Kike Hernandez. No hits for him yet in the game despite his team's offensive onslaught. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0 and 1. Now a ball lined hard toward right center. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. And he'll pull into second with one away. Everyone knows that this guy's numbers are not where he wants them to be so far this year. But you never know by that swing. He looked fluid and confident driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. Standing in now, Kevin Ploiecki. As he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. In there at the knees, 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Looked like the changeup slipped out that time, and it misses well above the zone. On the ground, back up the box, and it'll get through into center field. A base hit. Long throw to the plate. And he's out. Beautiful throw home to cut down the run. 
love everything about that play right there. Nobody's at fault. Just great execution by the defense. I saw the third base coach waving him around, and I totally agreed with it. Here's Xander Bogarts now as he grounds one briskly to short. Reined in. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So no runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's the Red Sox six and the Ra Josh Taylor is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 38, John Taylor. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And now it'll be the catcher, Bo Naylor. Always a tall task trying to rally back in the late Whoa. innings, but I think this game could still turn quickly. A leadoff runner on base right here could be huge to get something going. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. Hey, there's an old saying in baseball, you need to take a strike in this spot. Well, he got one there. Now he just needs to find a way to get on. Lays off the slider and it's one and one. Here it comes. Who jumped the gun a bit on that swing? He's down one and two. Yeah, guys, he's got so much respect for this guy's fastball. You can tell he was out in front on that slider. I think he goes to the well one more time with that pitch. Oh, this one bounces off the pitcher. No chance to make a play. Let's see if he's okay out there. Adam Adovino comes in unexpectedly from the pen in relief of his injured teammate. Now Adam, the center fielder, Kevin. To play now, Kevin Kiermeyer. As he'll look at a slider that runs in too far for ball one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. The 1 0 is looked at for ball number two. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning, maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. Now the 2 0 home. Too tight with that Three one. Three no and oh. And he nope. misses That's ball four. four. You, so he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Always tough to issue a free no pass, but especially seven. troublesome Short when you job. give up a single right Three before ball. that to start the inning. We'll see Three if he can ball. figure out a way to wiggle out of this. And now here is Vidal Bruhan, who represents the potential tying run if he can launch one or find a way around. First pitch of the A.B. now. And he'll take ball a look one, at ball play. one. There are a couple of points in every game that could decide winning or losing. This is one of those critical spots. Time to make some great pitches. The 1-0. Fouled off. The 1-1. One, one. Hey. One ball, two strikes, you know. I got to count. Two and two. Got him. Fooled on the pitch as he swings at it in the dirt for strike three. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Pretty standard pitch sequence right there. Just how you draw it up in a perfect world. Jump ahead 0-2 oh. and then you toss a change up in the dirt to get him to chase for a strikeout on three pitches. If only it were always that easy. 
At the plate now, Nelson Cruz. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Oh, had him lunging at that pitch away, and it's 1 and 1 now. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Hey, don't kid yourself. I know those were two bad swings, but he hits middle of the order for a reason. It only takes one swing. The one-two is swung on and missed. He got him. Hey, I'm not sure what he was sitting on right there. He might have been sitting on an off-speed no pitch, but instead he gets the fastball way late. Had no Wait chance here. to put that ball in play. Now it'll be the four hole hitter, Brendan Lau. Over three so far on the day. His pitching staff has done a pretty good job of making one of the top power hitters in the game turn into a non factor. Yeah, they've completely kept him off balance all day, but you know as well as I do, it only takes one swing. Oh, this guy has been too hot too long for something not to leak out over the heart of the plate and him drive it over the wall. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Pitch in the dirt, and that scoots oh, right on by. So now two men in scoring position. Oh, and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's one and two. Big spot right here. That's a great pitch to try and see if you could get him to fish outside the zone. He's still in the driver's seat right now, and I'd expect something else to miss off the plate. Struck him out, so they work out of the jam as he strands two men in scoring position. Rays strand a pair. They're still doubled up. It's 6-3. So now here is Alex Verdugo in his career versus this pitcher. Not a big sample size, 0 for 1. Oh, and we kick again. off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Looking up is the right fielder. And it's gone as they add still another. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Number 14 on the season as it is now 7-3. Well, you've got to love seeing a team that's never satisfied. They were up, but they've extended the lead to an even more comfortable four-run margin. Going to be tough to come back from this one. Nick Anderson, six-foot-four-inch right-hander, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. And that'll bring up J.D. Martinez. As he'll watch a curveball that bends in there under his hands at strike one. As we near the end of this one, it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's outcome. Dan Dero, what are your final thoughts on what we've seen? Yeah, just non-competitive pitches in some big situations, Dan, and the offense took full advantage. Yeah, you know, Dero, one of the things about pitching is you want to have location, and it was obvious in this one today that the pitchers weren't on point, and what happens when that happens? Hitters make the pay, and the long ball was a big part of this one here. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. J.D. Martinez becomes the first out of the inning. Rafael Devers will stand in again as we flash you back to the middle innings here. This was a big blow, a two-run home run that really got his guys going. First delivery to him. Bases are empty, one man in. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. And now a called strike that time as the zone expands a bit here. It's two and one now. That is a pro pitch right there. Two old curveball for a strike. You make those kind of pitches, you'll be around for a long time. A bouncer to the left side. 
throw on the first will get him. Score it 5-3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6-3 ground ball. Nevertheless, there are two away now. Bobby. Digging in next, Bobby Dahlbeck. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one-for-four day. No oh, balls on the strike to count. And one and one. one and one as this one's in on the hands. Wanted to get the front door curveball on the inside corner there, but it backed oh, up ball. a little and stayed <laughs> off the corner. Two out, nobody on. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there. And now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at bat if they want to get back in this thing. The Red Sox are on the board thanks to the solo home run. Last chance for the Rays coming up. It's the Red Sox 7 and the Rays 3. Darwin's in Hernandez. A 6-foot, 2-inch left-hander jogs in to take over on the hill. Darwin Hernandez. Set for the bottom of the ninth. Austin Meadows will be the next to bat. First pitch on the way. And there's a strike right down the heart of the plate. 0 1. Hey, love the pitcher attacking the zone right here. He knows he's got a patient hitter at the plate. Might as well steal that first strike. They haven't played perfectly as it's hit on the ground. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Now into the box, Randy Rosarena. He's working on a one for three thus far. Here's the first pitch. Fastball in there for a called strike. One out, nobody on. This one's down to third. Beverage has it. Throw to first will be in time, and the Rays are now down to their final out. Now to back, G-Man Choi. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. In the last at that, that breaking ball was really up in the zone. Not a good spot for a pitch to throw the off-speed pitch. If he wants to come back and throw that in this. And he'll put this one away, and the Red Sox will salvage at least the finale in this three-game series as the ball game is over. And this afternoon's game ends 7-3. Boston led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Garrett Richards earned his ninth win of the year. Tyler Glasnow struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network. The final line score for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious Boston Red Sox: seven runs on 13 hits, no errors. They